Jesus is helping me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I believe his light can shine through me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I wanna be Sunday. Welcome back to our Sunday Bible lesson videos. Did you guys have an awesome week this week? Great. I am so happy to hear that. I am so glad that you guys are here with me today. We have a lot to talk about and I can't wait to share with you another super true and awesome story from the Bible. Are you guys ready to get started? Okay, let's go. So let's start as usual and review what we talked about last week in our Bible story. So last week we learned something super important, you guys. We learned that we can shine a light when we love others the way that Jesus loves us. Now let me ask you guys, who can love like Jesus? That's right, you can love like Jesus, good job. Now for this week's Bible story, we are learning about how Jesus washed his friend's feet. Jesus washed his friend's feet to show them what it's like to love others as he loves us. He always puts his friends first. And when Jesus was done washing their feet, he told them to go and love others the way that he has loved us. Now, let me ask you guys, who can love like Jesus? That's right, you can love like Jesus. Good job. Now, are you guys ready to review this month's Bible verse? It might be a little rusty still, so let's practice one time and then we'll say it two more times together since we just learned it. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. So remember, you're gonna give yourself a big hug and say, love each other. And now take both your pointer fingers and point them up as I, take both your thumbs and point them to yourself, have loved you. Open up your hands like a book, John 15, 12. Did you get it? Great, let's do it two more times. So it's love each other, as I have loved you, John 15, 12. Okay, one more time. Love each other as I have loved you, John 15, 12. Did you guys get it? Awesome work. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you all next week. Love you, bye. Who, who, you know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. And you're just in time for the grand opening of the Clubhouse Car Wash. The brushes really move like in a real car wash. Let's see how many cars we have to wash today. Count them with me. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Are you ready for them to go through the car wash? If you are, shout, go cars, go! Go cars, go! Wow, that was loud. Here we go. Wow, that was so much fun. Look how shiny and clean they are. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Washing cars, are you? It's so much fun to make them bright and shiny and clean. Washing cars is fun. It's true. I know a story about washing, too. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through, follow me through hell. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. So happy to see you today. Check out this car. It belongs to my friend Arturo. I'm helping him fix it because the wheels aren't working. Oh, <laughs> and that's what you do to be a good friend. You help them. In fact, that reminds me of a story. You wanna help me build it? <laughs> Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. It was the night he had all his friends, the disciples, with him at dinner. His friend John was there, and Matthew, and Peter. They all were at the table. Then, Jesus took a towel and knelt down by his friends. Do you know what Jesus was doing? He was about to wash his friends' feet. His friends had been walking around dusty roads all day, and their feet were dirty. <laughs> Everyone say, Ew! Ready? <gasps> Ew! <laughs> yep, talk about a stinky job. Ooh. Now, we need to fill up the bowl with water. Can you guys take your pretend buckets and help me fill the bowl with water? Ready? One, two, three. Ah, good job. <laughs> now, Jesus has water. Then, Jesus washed his friend's feet. Huh. Can you believe that? Jesus is so important. He is God's son. Why would someone so important wash his friend's feet? Hmm. Because he wanted to show his friends that he loved them. And you're never too important to love others by doing something for them, like washing their feet. Everyone say, wow! Ready? Wow! Jesus is a good friend. <laughs> hmm, let's think for a minute. If we wanted to be a good friend like Jesus, what could we do to show love to other people around us? What if you're playing outside and your neighbor friend wants to play on your favorite scooter? Do you let them? <laughs> yes, you share your favorite scooter. That is being a good friend. What if there's a long line to get a turn in the bouncy house, but there's a little kid behind you who's really excited to bounce? Do you let them go in front of you? <laughs> yes, you let them go in front of you. That is being a good friend. You already know lots of ways to be a good friend. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love people like Jesus did. So let's be good friends. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. 
Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loved by being a good friend, and we can be a good friend too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, even though Jesus is God's son, he got down and washed his friend's dirty feet. We can do kind things for our friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. This car wash is so cool. I could keep it to myself, but I'm gonna go find my friends and let them play with it too. I'll see you next time. other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12.